In the past, one of the ways that I would debug a smart contract using Remix is to use logs. For example, here I have a function called test, and let's say that there are a bunch of code and I want to debug this function. What I would do is insert a log. I would declare a log event and then emit the log. And if I wanted to log some parameters, for example, let's say message.sender and maybe the input amount, then I will log these values and then declare the event as address sender uint amount. I will compile the contract, deploy it, and then execute the function, then see what parameters the logs output. Later, if I wanted to log more values, for example, let's say that inside this code, I declare a variable and it is equal to one to three, and I want to log it in this log. Then inside here, I'll put the X, and then I'll redeclare the event with uint X. Recompile the contract, redeploy it, and then execute the function and then see what parameters are logged. This is one of the ways that I will use to debug a smart contract in Remix. However, recently I found an easier way to do it. And the tool that we're gonna be using is Hardhat Console. To use Hardhat Console for debugging, the first thing that we need to do is import it. So we'll say import hardhat slash console.sol. I'll hit Control S to compile the contract. And after a few seconds, you'll see a green button on the Solidity icon, meaning that the contract compiled successfully. Now notice that I didn't have to install any packages. When I put this code in and then compile the contract, Remix automatically installed this package hardhat. The next thing that we will do is replace our log with hardhat console. So I'll remove this event, and then I'll also replace this event. To log some parameters, we'll type console.log. For example, we can log message.sender, and we can also log the input amount, and maybe some variables, let's say x. Now what makes console log more useful than the event that we declared is that it can log different data types, and we can also log different number of parameters. For example, instead of logging message.sender as the first parameter, we can say something like console.log true Notice that for the first console log, we're logging an address type, but for this line, we're logging a Boolean value. We can log something like a string saying here. For the first line, we log three parameters, but for the second line, we don't have to log three parameters. For example, we can log four parameters, three, two, or one. For this example, we'll just log two parameters. Compile the contract with Control S. Now I'll show you an example of calling this function, and then seeing what the logs output. So I'll deploy the contract, open the contract, and also open the transaction logs, pass in some input to the function test, and then hit test. And notice here that it logged some parameters, the address and some numbers, and on the second line, true in the string here. So this is how you can use hardhack console.log to debug your smart contract in Remix. And after you're done debugging, make sure to remove the logs before you deploy your contract to production.